so another fruit all the way from the uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, this came from Raymond again, so thank you once again, uh, Raymond, for sending me all these fantastic fruits. This is one I've never even heard about before. It's called the Salal. This one he said that they usually have a delightful flavor to them, but if they taste bland or bad, not to review them. So if these aren't good, then I'm not going to post this. I want to give this a proper representation. But as with a lot of forage fruits, if you get, like, you get them at the wrong time, or you pick it from the wrong tree or something, you might get something that doesn't really taste very good. There's a lot of variable with forage stuff. I couldn't find like anything really commercial that is um, that is consumed that's related to this besides the uh, Eastern tea berry where we get the uh, wintergreen flavor. The majority of wintergreen flavoring is from the the tea berry. Wintergreen is like a key component in like root beer. So if you ever drink a glass of root beer and you're like, oh it's kind of like a weird minty taste to it, uh, it's because of the, that flavoring. This berry is used as an appetite suppressant and it was used extensively by the Native Americans. They would use this both fresh and dried. They'd mix it into things and use it to thicken things, I believe. It is often combined with the Oregon grape. They combine those together to make jams and pie filling and stuff like that because I guess they go well together. The Oregon grape is like super sour and very strong. This one I think is supposed to be more mild, so they're supposed to pair well together. Uh, that is all the Wikipedia information that I have for you guys. Uh, I'm kind of like in a hurry right now. I'm about to go on tour. And uh, I wanted to review these now before I get in the car. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to do this like a little quickly. Blueberries. They taste very similar to blueberries. They've got like that kind of, I described it in like my last video as like a creaminess. Don't know if that's super like accurate way of describing it, but more like a mellowness, like a mellow sweetness that blueberries have. Uh, this has. And they are quite sweet. Not like insanely so, but they are sweet. I'd say like on a level of you know like 1 to 10, where 10 is a sugar cube. This is maybe like 5. It also tastes a little bit like um, like blackberries. Like when I was a kid, there used to be like a, a bramble bush. I think they were blackberries outside my house and I picked berries from it. These kind of taste like that. They have like that sweetness and um, kind of like herbal kind of flavor that like a foraged bramble would have. Uh, the foraged like raspberry or blackberry would have. This is kind of terrifying. You see it's got that little cross on it? Well watch. Yeah. It's like a little bit like that scene in Alien, you know, it's a little bit like a little face hugger. Uh, <laughs> if you squeeze it, like the inside just kind of inverts. It's still like, see, it didn't like break or anything, it just kind of turns inside out. And if you pick off the edge of it, you get into all the little seeds in there, the seeds are a green color. Hmm. The Raymond said that when these are super ripe, they taste a little minty, and I want to say that these taste minty, but they don't. If I really try and focus on it, I can pick up like a touch of it, I think. I don't think that's all in my mind, but I guess like if these develop more, then they do actually get a little bit of a wintergreen flavor, which makes sense because they're related. Uh, these ones in particular, they, uh, they don't have so much of a minty taste, but I think like if you get them from a different tree or you let them um, go a little bit further in their growing season, they do develop that flavor. But even without that mintiness, I do actually like these quite a lot. You know, I love blackberries, I love blueberries. Um, the fact that they kind of come out like a little face hugger kind of creeps me out a little bit, won't lie. But the, uh, the flavor of these is really good. I would make um, jam out of this. Uh, combining it with the Oregon grape like people do is a great idea. Um, I think those would pair very well because these are not very sour. If you wanted to make a jam, you know, you'd want it to be like that. But 
as it is super tasty. There's going to be a preview at the end of this video, so don't go anywhere. I just want to give a big shout out to all of the mega contributors over on Patreon. Dr. Torgman, Altpod, and the channel Smarter Every Day. Patreon is how this channel happens, so if you want to find out more about how you can contribute and help this channel grow, do click on the link in the description below or the one that's floating around me right now. I also have t-shirts for sale. This is the latest one, the Mandrake Group shirt, which is available on my website, also in the description below. Uh, this is not a huge channel. I'm trying to make it big. Leaving a comment or liking, subscribing, sharing, anything you can do, guys, does help me out quite a lot. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.